welcome to today, today's edition of Zoo to You. We are talking about vertebrates today, specifically about reptiles. So a reminder of what a vertebrate is, this is something that has a backbone, an animal with a backbone or a spinal cord. So humans, we are vertebrates. So is Solomon here. So Solomon is what we call a prehensile tailed skink. And he might move around on this stick a little bit just because it's comfortable for him. So reptiles, you'll notice on him, they have very scaly skin and they actually can shed their skin as well. For some reptiles like snakes, it comes off in one nice long peel. For other reptiles, it's more of they'll lose a scale on maybe their head and then on their tail. So all around them and you won't ever find like a full lizard peel. Other than that with reptiles, you'll notice also on Solomon, since we're just kind of looking at his head, he has these ear holes. This is not true for all reptiles, but it is true for lizards. They have external ear holes that are gonna be what they can obviously hear with, just like our ears. They also have these nice lovely claws, which you can see on his feet. Um, and their claws, are, for Solomon in particular, are going to be helping him climb this lovely stick and climb into the trees in his natural habitat. He also has this long tail dangling down. He uses this tail, we called him a prehensile tailed skink. That means he can actually wrap his tail around things and use it for support, kind of like an opossum does. Now, he's not gonna hang from his tail upside down. He really just uses it to balance and hold himself up. So if he were to start getting uncomfortable on this stick and moving around a lot, he might wrap his tail around to give himself a little bit of balance. All right, another really interesting thing about reptiles is that they are cold-blooded. Right now, he's hanging out in a, this nice sunny day and it means that he is actually warming himself up. A cold-blooded creature cannot regulate their body temperature. So in order to warm up, they need to find a sunny spot or maybe a heat lamp. And to cool down, they're gonna have to find a shady spot, maybe some water, or maybe even go underground, depending on the species. Reptiles also lay eggs. So they lay leathery eggs on land. So even things like sea turtles, which are reptiles, they crawl onto land to lay their eggs. Thanks for joining us for Zoom to You vertebrate edition talking about reptiles. You can find more learning tools on our website at zooatlanta.org under the learn homepage and you can join us on any social media with the hashtag onlyzooatl.